Hello friends, so here I have a basic application and let me create another organization, let's name it uh, fourth organization, create organization and you see, I see the ID of this new organization. And this is uh, considered not a good security practice to have your IDs visible in the URLs or if you like uh, hover on uh, uh, a link, you say I go to inspect and I see the ID of this resource because uh, a competitor can uh, know how many organizations I have in total and uh, he can check a month from now and see what is the growth rate of my application. So uh, this is the most simple example why you would want to hide IDs from uh, your URLs and your mockup. Now uh, there are a few different ways to hide IDs. Uh, the most simple way is uh, to use friendly ID. I love this gem. I use it in many of my applications but uh, I don't want to add uh, a slug attribute to all my models and uh, update them based on the name based on on uh, another attribute of the model. Then there is a uh, slugifiable by remise, but this gem also uh, requires uh, adding a slug migration to all the models, and I don't want this. Then there's this hash ID Rails gem, but it hasn't been updated in five years, and this gem uh, does not uh, require you to uh, add an uh, additional slug attribute to the model, uh, but uh, the finders. Uh, don't work uh, out of the box so you need to update the finders uh, all around your application to use hash uh, uh, this find by hash id then there is this id gem that is uh, very nice but uh, again it does not uh, uh, support uh, the default rails find method so you would need to use uh, article uh, dot uh, find the instead of article.find all around your application. And I want uh, just a drop-in solution that works uh, uh, out of the box when you just add it to the application and you can uh, uh, obfuscate all the IDs around your application. Then there is this prefixed IDs gem by uh, uh, Xside and uh, it's a nice gem, but uh, the IDs that are generated can get uh, really long and also not all the find the methods uh, work uh, out of the box. So uh, you would need to use uh, find by prefix ID in some places instead of just using uh, find. And uh, while exploring bullet train, uh, it's an uh, open source uh, Ruben Rails uh, boilerplate, I noticed their IDs. You see, uh, I'm like uh, navigating different resources and here is uh, an example of an obfuscated uh, uh, hashed uh, ID of the resource. So if I like hover anywhere, you see uh, I will have this uh, obfuscated ID and not the real ID of the record. And looking into the source code of uh, Bullchain, that's actually open source, I highly recommend you to uh, have a look at it. Uh, I found where these obfuscated IDs in Bullchain are defined. So they have this concern obfuscated uh, IDs. Uh, let's try adding this uh, concern to our application and see if uh, it can be a drop in solution to obfuscate, uh, to hide our IDs in our application uh, all uh, at once with minimal installation. So uh, I will go to my uh, models mm. and uh, in models inside concerns I will create this uh, uh, obfuscates ID uh, file I will uh, copy it from uh, bullet train I will also add a source like attribution where I took it uh, extract it from uh, uh, bullet train okay we have this obfuscates uh, ID so uh, it uh, will need the hash ID. We will also need to install this gem now. You see it overrides the find that has many finders uh, and we'll be able to use uh, uh, tuprem to see the hashed uh, ID, the obfuscated ID of the record. So let's uh, uh, start the Rails console and uh, let's say organization dot first and organization dot tuprem. Uh, now this uh, just says the ID 12, but uh, we want to use obfuscated ID, so we would need to add this obfuscated ID to our application record. So here I will say include uh, obfuscates ID. Now I will restart the Rails console, uh, define the organization, organization to param. I have this error, hash ID is new, so I need to uh, add uh, hash IDs. I will add the gem to the gem file, gem uh, hash IDs, bundle, bin, uh, yeah, no need to run bin dev, let's first try in the console, uh, defining the organization, organization dot param, and you see, instead of the ID, previously we had the ID here, we have this uh, hashed ID. 
So if we start the server, let's go to our application, I refresh, uh, search by ID still works, uh, but if I go to an organization, you see, I ha don't have the ID here anymore, I have the uh, obfuscated, the hidden ID. If I go to projects, I go to show a project, you see, the organization ID is hidden and the project ID is hidden, and it is kind of a drop-in solution. All it is uh, uh, use the obfuscated ID concern from uh, bullet train and uh, in initialize it in the application record and I needed the gem hash IDs. So yes, that's basically it. This is the, I think, easiest, uh, most lean way. You can hide the IDs of all the records in your application with uh, just one drop in tiny solution. Thanks for watching.